Hey, welcome back to His and Her Homestead. I was just going to show you real quick a video of what my brooder looks like for my quail. Uh, by the way, our male rabbit still doesn't have a name, so if you want to comment and tell us what you think he should be named, that would be awesome. Give us some ideas. Um, first thing I did was I folded over some chicken wire over a box. And this is a DeWalt heavy duty wet tile saw that I got out of the dumpster. So if you are looking for a box, that's a great one. It'll only cost you like a few hundred dollars. But uh, then I'll leave this flap on here and I put something heavy on there, just whatever to hold it down like a book or something, whatever it is, heavy enough to keep the coil from flying out. But inside, I lined it with a cut open trash bag to keep it from uh, in case they spill their water or whatever and then I put some non-offensive smelling wood chips in there I try not to use the cedar if I can avoid it I like to use the aspen and what have you um, I just have a light there with a hanger on it the hangers on there because on my other setup I use it with hung from the top of the cage instead of with the clamp it's a little easier to do so that's it I'm gonna put my waters and feeders down in this corner and put all the chickies in here and close the flat put a book on it and then I will show you guys the video of them in there so we recounted and there's 41 birds so here's my setup with my light I've got a light with a controller that you adjust the temperature on and then it's got a probe down there and you want to have one hot end and one cool end you want your food in the cool end because chances are they're going to hang out in the hot end so I put the food and water as far away from the light as possible and then uh, as you can tell they're hiding from the hot end so I had it up too high but that was just to kick it on and show you it's like really hot today in my house but anyways so 41 birds and then last thing I'm gonna do is close the flap here and try not to shake the camera too much put a, put a little weight on it and not much just enough to hold a quail and keep a quail from and there you go. That's how I brood. Typical brooding box that I make. Uh, comment, subscribe if you have any. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always welcome to. You're always welcome to questions. I appreciate you guys watching our videos. Next, I'll do a video on how to incubate them. I mean, that should have been the first video, but it's not as fun. It's a little longer, more in depth. Thanks. See you guys.